What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be showcasing the brand new Coliseum mode within this game. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Get on top of that subscription, scroll down a little bit, and just click the subscribe button. Seriously, only take a second of your guys' time, and it really goes a long way supporting me as a content creator. But if you guys do not know what the new Coliseum mode is, it allows us to actually just get straight into battle. So no more messing around with the Union codes anymore. We can go right into the Coliseum, pick single battles, pick double battles, pick even multi-battles now, and just hop straight into a battle. So less waiting and more battle. They should have implemented this early on and should have had this once the game came out, but I'm glad we actually got this now. But in today's video, we're going to be keeping it normal how I like to do it. Three battles in this video, and we're going to be trying to showcase this team that I already used before. We will have that Poke Pace down in the description below if you guys want to check out all the movesets, because I really do not feel like doing a team preview on a team I already showcased. But it's a Garchomp, it's a Toxic Heal Breloom, and a Weebile team. Really, really good and really, really strong. I absolutely love it. One of my favorite teams I use in BDSP. So I was just like, yo, let me actually showcase this again. But in order to do the Coliseum, you just have to go upstairs in any Pokemon center go all the way to the right you'll see this little like pokeball with like a sunshine behind it you just talk to this lady she's like welcome to the pokemon coliseum and you pick what battle you want to use and whether you want to do local internet or wireless play i want to go to internet obviously get rocking with that and then go straight into double battle so it's going to link us up with some random person around the world for us to battle and it doesn't take too long to battle so i really really enjoy this feature really do i wish they had it later like when the game first came out or earlier when the first came out but hey i can't complain we we got it anyway we got it anyway, so I'm going to enjoy it while I can. So, it's so all you do. You just hop in here, and it's super, super simple to get into battles. Let's hop into Coliseum and see if we can find an opponent rather quickly. But, yeah, it's really cool how they did set it up. It's like its own little room. Like, look at this, dude. It looks like you're in an Elite Four battle, kind of. But it's just going to sit here, communicate, and now I'm in a room. And now I can legit just sit here and wait for an opponent to hop in here. Here we are, guys. It took less than two minutes to actually find an opponent, and all I have to do is step inside this red square, and it will trigger the battle. But she actually left her blue square, but she's heading back there. Okay, pretty cool. So it'll trigger the battle once both people are in the squares, and it will act normal. But one person does get to pick the rules. It's kind of weird. I haven't had a chance for me to pick the rules, so hopefully I can actually do it. It says another uh, player is choosing rules. Okay, she's deciding rules. Hopefully she just picks, like, normal rules or makes it 4v4, because, you know, I like to do a little bit of 4v4 action how i do it that's how i do it over here on the rank jeans community channel over here but we're hopping into our first battle and she did set it to four let's go let's go so yo coliseum mode's fire dude it is fire she set this to four we're gonna lock in our team and uh one other thing i should mention is a new update actually banned all clone pokemon so if you had any clone pokemon you cannot use them in any battle situation so pretty cool that they did that pretty cool that they did that but we're going up against our first opponent with a tyranitar togekiss flygon crobat mamoswine and Hit my top team. I feel like Weavile is a huge threat, super effective up against a T-Tar, the uh Tokus, the Flygon, the Crobat. It just does work all the way. So I'm really liking it. So we're definitely gonna lead the Weavile. Has fake out control, has speed control with icy wind. I could also lead the uh Tokus. Tokus is a bad here. But I kinda like the Breedloom. Like Breedloom could be type nice. But the problem is if he if he leads the Mamoswine. Mamoswine could definitely be a huge threat. So I kinda wanna go into Milo here. Because Milo is really, really good. Very bulky with a great moveset. Great, great moveset. Can bulk up too up against a lot of these physical attackers. I want Heatran here too. I feel like Heatran could be nice. But you know what? I might lead the Heatran. I might lead the Heatran. Who do I want to go into? Milo tick? Let's lead Milo. Heatran. And we're going to bring Garchomp in the back. I don't know why I just really like Garchomp. Or, you know what? I think I'd rather have Togi. I think I'd rather have Togi. It just does a lot more work. Has that scope lens on it. Can really get after it. Two of my favorite Pokemon. We're not using the Breloom and Garchomp, but you know, battle number two or battle number three, we're definitely gonna be rocking out with this. But let's get rolling here. Let's see who this person's gonna lead. He's gonna send out the hit on top, fake out, and then tailwind control with that Crobat. Crobat is obviously gonna be inner focus. So what I could do from here is uh What could I do from here? He just has to intimidate. I'm, I'm just gonna have to fake out the hit on top, and he's gonna I'm gonna have to allow him to get off the tailwind. So tailwind is gonna come out here, but competitive is going to poke, which is huge. So look at that, our special attack is boosted. Love me some competitive. So we're plus two, so we could just go into a fake out, which is probably our best bet here. Go into a fake out. He might go for speed control. In this case, I could coil up this turn. Could definitely coil up this turn. And I think coil is going to be the play. Just raise my accuracy, my attack, and my defense. Attack isn't really, uh, doesn't matter for me because I'm special attacking, but I'm boosted plus two with that. So I think might just be able to thrive out with this battle. So we're going to allow him to get off the tailwind. I mean, it's fine. It's really not a big deal. Maybe I should have went for a scald into it. 
But it outspeed me anyway, so like, dude, it's gonna get off the tail. That's a free tail. I can't fake it out. He flinches though. He's probably going for the fake out, and he's gonna set up. Oh, we should go straight for a crawl space. Which we soak all day. So I love it. I love it. So we're gonna be able to coil up. And, yo, this match is already a wrap. I am a god in BDSP double battles. I just play so well every single time. But we have speed all day, and now I'm just gonna do uh. I could just straight up ice punch in that crowbat, and then just hypnosis to uh to hit my top. I'm liking this, but yo, dude, the new playing in this format is so much fun. I really do enjoy it. Yeah, ice punch definitely gonna thrive through here. And I have recover, but I'm just gonna hypnosis over here, put you to sleep, because my accuracy's boosted. It makes my uh hypnosis not 60% accuracy, it is now 80% accuracy. So if I can coil one more time, which I was thinking about doing, we can get that accuracy even raised higher, but this thing's just gonna tail in, so I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. Ice punch gonna fly through here. Got it. And not take him out, but do some big damage. Maybe a freeze? No freeze, and close comments can come through here. Luckily, we are focus dash. That's a huge turn for us that we get that focus dash. And we get that lovely focus dash. Because now we're sitting in this position where we're going to put this him on top of sleep if we land this. We got we to gotta hope we man it or land it. And we do steal as a crew. Oh my god, yo, the pickpocket is dirty. The pickpocket is dirty. We stole a Guavberry. I love it. I love it. Hypnosis can come through and it's going to connect. So, yo, we bought with some HP back. We got the hit on top of sleep. This guy does have Tailwind set up, but I do like where we're sitting. So, from here, I'm thinking of just uh, coiling up again. Because if I had to guess, he has, a, he has to have another physical attack in the back end, right? I mean, he had, he had a lot of special attackers, so do I even want to coil again? I think I'm just going to double down into this Crobat. I think I'm going to double down into the Crobat just in case he kills my Weavile. Let's see what he does. He's going to be asleep. And this thing's going to go for cross poison into my Weavile. And like I said, just in case he kills my Weavile, I want to take it out. So we're going to be able to take out this Crobat now. And from here, I'm thinking of just bringing in my Togekiss. I think Togekiss would be my best bet. I was actually thinking about bringing in my uh, Heatran here. But I need Heatran just in case he brings Togekiss. So I'll bring in my Togekiss just to make sure he doesn't bring out a Pokemon that can actually take out my Heatran. Such as Flygon, Ground Moves. Not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. So Togekiss, come on down, sweetheart. And Togekiss does work onto that, uh, onto that Hitmontop, which I can just send Dazzling Gleams that way. Hit both opponents and chip up some damage onto that Hitmontop. That Hitmontop. So he brings out Mamoswine. That would have been a money play to actually bring out my, uh, to bring out my Heatran here. My Heatran would be money, but we're just gonna go straight into a Gleam here, and I think we're just gonna Scold. Double down into the slot. I'm really liking where we're sitting here. If him on top can be asleep for one more turn, I think we should be thriving in this battle. I think we should be thriving in this battle. He's gonna wake up, of course he is, and he's gonna send a wide guard. Okay, so that's a leap is gonna get blocked. That's a solid block for him. But Scald plus two is gonna come across here. And drop a rock slide, I'm fine with that. As long as he doesn't flinch my uh, Milotic, I think we're chilling here. As long as he doesn't flinch that Milotic, we're chilling, we're chilling here. Leem gets blocked from the wide guard, and Scald's gonna fly through here. Come on, Scald, connect. Scald, connect, please, don't be flinched. Don't be flinched. Let's go. Let's go. All day, Milo. All day, baby girl. And later, Mamma Swine. Plus two Milo to just thriving out here in this battle. Looking real good for us. Looking real, real good. Okay. So leftover's gonna poke here. Look at this, yo. Bulked up on the defensive board. We get HP every single turn. I could just use a recover if I want to. And I feel like we're just gonna thrive out with this battle. Because that hit my top is minus one on defense. So if we can hit it, it's dead. And he's gonna bring out T-Tar here. And T-Tar's kinda scaring me. Start is kind of scaring me, and I think I just scalded it, right? Scald just rips, man. It just rips. I could go into a follow me, but I'm just going to protect. Thinking that he's going for a shot on me. I'm just going to do that. Milotic's going to be clutching up for a battle today. Milotic is just ripping. I'm predicting a rock slide probably sliding through here. Maybe another wide guard? Let's see. Let's go for another wide guard. I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. Because, again, if I get off the skull, that's some big old damage for us. He's going to go for a dragon dance? That's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because we have a Scald coming in hot. And I could just follow me next turn if I want. Scald coming in hot. Connect. How much damage? Do Taking him out, maybe? Yeah, dude. Milotic is boost here. Do not trick your competitive on a Milotic. A crit, but yo, I think we were taking him out with We're plus two. Plus two stab, yo. That's GG's. What a way to make our return to BDSP just dominate it with Milotic. It's over. It is over. Good thing I brought that out. Good thing I brought that out. Good thing I brought it. I knew I could set up with her. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Especially with Weavile on our side, we got off one coil, and then he just triggered on my competitive early on. I was, I was happy about that. I was just like, yo, it's GG's. Get him out of here. 
get him out of here. But this dude's probably just going to run the battle. I am going to send an Air Slash his way alongside with a Scald. And I think he's just going to cancel that, right? GG's, get out of my face. Battle was canceled. There it is, 1-0 to get Coliseum stuck. We rocked out in battle number one. Time to hop into battle number two in the Coliseum and lock in our lovely little Breloom. But this time, let's actually use Breloom. Oh, I would love to like it. I would love to decide the uh, rules. Okay, so I can decide the rules. We're going with four Pokemon. I make the rules now. We're doing the exact same thing. Oh, I could have changed if special Pokemon were allowed. Same items. Wow, I could have turned them all off. I could have turned them all off. I had the power, but I'll let this guy slide. I'll say only four Pokemon, and we'll get rocking out from there. So that is a beautiful thing that we can do is change rules. And I feel like it's only on the blue side you can change rules. Because every time I went on the red side... I wasn't able to change rules, but here's our opponent's team for battle number one. He's got Empoleon. If I had to guess, that's probably the Defiant Empoleon. Then he has Toxicroak, Latios, who is an absolute menace in this format. And then he has Tyrantar, Raikou, and Togekiss. And I kind of want to go into Weavile. Weavile is just such a good lead all around. I could go Breedloom here. Breedloom wouldn't be bad with a fake out, and then I could potentially set up a substitute because I have Toxic Heal and a Toxic Orb on him. And then maybe, or I can go into a Spore. So I'm liking those two as lead. I really do like them two as lead. I could go in with Garchomp. I feel like Garchomp's a must bring here, considering it is super effective up against that Latios, up against the uh, Empoleon, and up against that Raikou. And I feel like he might lead Raikou. I think that is definitely an option. Okay. Then last Pokemon, I think Togekiss kind of rocks out here. Or we going in with Heatran. What does Jeans want to do here? I think we can be fine. I think we can be fine with uh, not going in with Heatran. The only reason I would want to go into Heatran is because of that Togekiss. But I feel like if we bring our Togekiss, it just gets a lot more work done. Considering he has the Toxicroak, he has the Latios, he has the Tyranitar. I just really like that. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down and look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But I've been loving the BDSP. It's just so much fun. And I'm glad to be uh, recording videos. So make sure you guys stay tuned for more BDSP ranked videos. Uh, well, I wouldn't call them ranked. Well, double battles. Competitive double battles, I like to call them. He's going to end up leading these two. And I'm kind of cool with that. Um, I could easily fake out onto you, which I think I'm going to do. And then I could just drop a big old Drain Punch. But I think I'm going to Spore here. Or no, I think I'm going to set up a sub. I think I'm going to sub up here. I do like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Empoleon maybe swaps out. Let's see what he does here. I'm going to fake out you. So that, that's that's solid turn. This thing might be Rough Skin. Doesn't learn Rough Skin. It's not, but he's going to flinch here. And we're going to set up a sub. So we know we outspeed him. We have the sub. And we're kind of hoping Empoleon's maybe going for a steel shot over into Weavile at this point. Right? Blizzard. Okay, so we, oh, that's a smart play. Blizzard can come out here. And that's probably going to drop my subs. Too. That's 100% going to drop my subs too, right? Dang it. I should have just, I should have just drain punch in there. Should have just drain punch. Okay, so my poison heal is going to trigger here. Uh, What's my play? What is my play here? Blizzard cannot hit twice. Right? That'd be a dang shame if he hits twice. I'm going to rock out with an Ice Punch, or I can go into this. Third Chop will do more damage, so you know what? That's not very Let's Ice Punch over here. And I really want to... I'm just going to Spore. I know I outspeed him pulling out. Let me Spore him this turn. Let me Spore this dude this turn. So Ice Punch is going to poke out here. Can we KO here? Freeze, maybe? No. He's going to go for a Taunt. That's fine by me. It's actually not fine by me. Should have went for the Drain Punch. We're looking for Spores, man. Hopefully, he misses his Blizzard. That could be a big turn for us. Just for a surf. Oh, so he's healing up with the Oh, that's a smart play. That's a smart play, but we know that Ice Punch can actually KO next turn. I'm with this all day. I'm with that, because that shouldn't KO any of my opponents, right? Or any of my Pokemon. No, it does not. We get Toxic Heal. I think we're sitting in such a good spot here. I think we're sitting in such a good spot. This is because Ice Punch can fly through here, finish off you, and then we get Drain Punch. Either KO or get off some big damage and go back to full health with my, with my lovely little breathing. Wow, nice little taunt by him. Great little taunt by him. Great little taunt by him. Taunting up on my lovely breed. Because that could have just, like, solidified the, the match there for the Spore. But I still think we're thriving here. He's going to end up withdrawing the top stroke. I'm totally cool by that. And who's he going to fly into? Who's he getting out here? Titar. Okay. I'm with Titar all day. I'm with Titar all day. Because I can Icy win next turn after a Strain Punch. Ice Punch going to fly here. Let me freeze. Let me freeze. We do not get the freeze. But Drain Punch going to fly here. That's some big damage. That's some big old damage. Some big old damage. Big old damage. We go back up to full HP. I'm loving it. And what's he going to drop here? He's going to go into a surf. And Weavile is going to drop out here. But Breloom's going to stay alive. And then get his Toxic on top of that. Which is really, really good. And he's just going to... Did he just KO his... Uh, he just KO his T-Tar? He just KO his T-Tar put him on one? I think he put him on one. 
he, look at this. That's less than one. That looks like it's less than one. That is ridiculous. But we have speed. We Vile did its job. I'm liking it so much. From here, I can definitely bring out... Uh, I could definitely bring out Garchomp. I could definitely bring out Garchomp. Let me see the speeds on these Pokemon. Let me see the speeds on these guys. 169, 135. I feel like you... I'll speed both of them. Let me see Breed Loom's speed. Breed Loom, let me see your speed. Compare. Let's compare. 134. Okay, so Tokus is faster than Empoleon for sure. So in this case, I'm just going to drop a Gleam. I think Gleam and Subbing Up would be a play, right? But you got to be faster than a Teton, right? You got to be faster than a Teton. We can win the battle right here. If Tokus is fast on the field, we win the battle. Oh, we're, mm, we're taunted. That's rough. Uh, in this case, I'm going to double down into the... Uh, Actually, let me let me let me switch this up a little bit. Actually, no, we're fine with that. We're fine. With that. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this, dude. If we could have uh, been able to sub up there, if we weren't taunted, that could have just been game. He's gonna end up withdrawing and pulling. That's totally fine. Save that for the back end. It's gonna do nothing. Slower than all my Pokemon. No, I'm not worried about that. He's gonna bring out Latios here, and this thing is going to protect. I'm cool with that. We're throwing a Gleam, and we're getting off a huge Train Punch here. So, nice damage coming out on this slot. Loving it, loving it, loving it. And more importantly, my Breed Loom's gonna get back a ton of HP from the Drain Punch and from the Tox Heal. So big old damage there. We get a crit because, you know, Scope Lens, Super Luck, OP baby. And the Drain Punch gonna fly through. And we are ripping! BDSP Double Battles is where I thrive. I thrive out in BDSP Double Battles. I'm always doing so good. I'm always doing so good. Most of our battles are either perfect records, mostly perfect records, I should say, and mostly winning records. But there we go. We're going to guarantee ourselves a winning record here. Who's he have left? He has Titar, who I can just dump on easily. And then he has Empoleon, who I can just dump on easily. Reloom's just, just stealing the show here. Just doing a lot of work. And we check off the taunt. And he still has the what's called, doesn't he? The Tox Perk? Shh. That's GG's. That's GG's. This is exactly why I brought my, my Togi Wogi here. Togi Wogi just does work. And it's check off the taunt, but in this case... Uh, I'll just go for a seed bomb here. Actually, I'll go for a drain punch. Nah, I'm gonna go for a seed bomb. Oh, I click. Mmm. I click Tox Show. Good thing Tokus outspeeds. Fake Outs can come out here, and he's faking me out anyway, but that was that was bad fake out. Should have faked out this guy. As you know, he's picking up the big old double kill. <laughs> Why wouldn't you fake out a Togekiss? Togekiss obviously is rocking Dazzling Gleam. Obviously, every Togekiss has Dazzling Gleam, and it's super effective up against both his Pokemon. He should have faked me out. He didn't do it, and that, that, the battle's over. The battle's over with. He has Empoleon on the back with like, like five HP, and both my Pokemon outspeed him. And I would rather get the final kill with Breloom, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. He's gonna protect my Togekiss. We're just going to follow me. I'm gonna rock a Drain Punch right into this this Penguin's little mouth, right in his little Trident Shield Cage face, right to the jaw, baby. He is sick though. Empoleon's so sick. So from here. I'm just gonna follow me. I could protect, but you know, I'd rather just follow me. I'm just gonna send a big old drain punch into this, but I think this guy cancels, right? Battle is canceled, two and oh for this video. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record. So guys, I went in and out of the Coliseum for battle number three, and I think we got paired up with the same opponent that we had in the last battle, which I don't mind. I don't mind doing a little rematch action, and I get to decide the rules, so I'm pretty sure everybody in the blue corner gets to pick rules. So. Take that as an advantage. If you're in the union room first, hop into that blue side. Because every time I've been on the blue side, I've been able to pick rules. And every time I haven't been on the blue side, I have not been able to pick rules. So I'm thinking blue side is the way to go. We're going to lock in that same exact team. We're going to try to use Garchomp in this third final battle. Because we got to use everybody so far, I'm pretty sure. We got to pick everybody. We got Garchomp in the last battle, but we didn't get to use it. Because, you know, Breloom was just thriving out there and just dominating the battle. So let's see if this guy picks the same team. And he doesn't. Okay, so he picks a different team. So pretty cool. We're going to have a little different of a battle here. He has the Garchomp. He has the T-Tar combo alongside with Rotom Wash, Scizor, Umbreon, who Umbreon is super, super good. And then he has Togekiss. Okay, so really strong team all around. And in this case, I really just want to bring Garchomp and maybe Weavile as a lead. I feel like that could be good. He might end up leading the uh, the Scizor. Maybe I'll lead the Heatran. Heatran just does work. Heatran is really good, but I am going to... I definitely have to bring the Heatran. Heatran will take out the Togekiss, and I'll take out that Scissor because you know, Scissor is a huge threat to our team. So I'm going to go Garchomp here. Do I lead Garchomp? Do I lead Garchomp? Or do I go Weavile Breloom? Weavile Breloom works wonders. It does work wonders. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What do I want to do? I kind of want to lead the Garchomp, but at the same time, if he leads like a Pokemon, say like... 
his Togekiss, we can really be in some trouble. But I'm gonna go for it anyway. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go Heatran, and last but not least, we're gonna be rocking out with Brelin. I really do like Brelin. Let's lock it in, let's lock it down, and look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three, and grab ourselves a perfect record. It is a rematch, so this guy, this guy has a chip on his shoulder. He's holding the grudge, he wants to beat me. He's gonna end up leading these two. Okay, I'm kinda cool with that. I'm actually really cool with that. Really, really cool with that. Because I'm going to fake out the T-Tar. I say the Garchomp either protects or uh, swaps out, knowing that my Weavile is on the floor. So I'm with that all day. I think we just Sword Stance up here, right? Fake out Sword Stance. I'm kind of with that. There's no way that Garchomp like, stays in here, right? Knowing that I have a Weavile that's faster than it. This is our play. We're Sword Stancing. Protect, please. Protect onto the Chomp. Or swap. Protect or swap. I would love it so much. Let's see what he does. Look at that, yo. My reads are on point, baby. My reads are on point. He protects the chomp. We're going to be able to fake out here. Boop. And more importantly, the guard chomp is setting up. We cling in the swords. I can take complete speed control here, which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do just by dropping an icy wind and then going into... He might swap. He might swap. That's a problem. Um, But I do think icy wind is still in play. Go icy wind and then... I have a Dragon Claw in this slot. He might swap into Togekiss if he has it, but it is still 100% our play. We do not want to lose a speed tie and die to the Garchomp. That's my that's my, that's my my thought process here. That's why I want to go into the Icy Wind, because if his Garchomp is fully boosted in speed, we can have a speed tie. He can win the speed tie and then uh, just get it for me that way. But he's just going to end up with Joel. I'm probably going into Togekiss at this point, right? Let's see what he goes into. Or maybe Scissor. What's he rocking with? Togekiss has come out here. So smart play by him. I had to do that, that move anyway. And he protects the Chomp. So turns just neutral anyway. I don't mind it one bit. I don't mind it one bit. I do not mind it. So we could swap it. We could swap it. Let's see how much damage this icy wind. Let's see when chips. It does chip. And I really don't want to swap my Garchomp due to the fact is uh A, we're in the uh sand. B, we're plus two. We have a sword sand set up. So I just don't think swapping them is gonna play. I think going into a straight ice punch. And protecting is going to be the play. Or I could swap in Heat Chain. But I, again, I, I just think not swapping out my uh, my Garchomp here is the play. Because he could go for a follow me and try to target me down. But if I can get off at least like an Ice Punch here, this will allow me to take out the tokens next turn. But look at this. We got an Ice Punch off here. And look, we just take it out that turn. <laughs> We're thriving. We're thriving. I wasn't even expecting to take it out there. I was planning on it not taking it. So that's even better. He's going to Stone Edge up. That's fine. Uh... Well, or the Weavile will go down. Weavile drops out here. I can bring out my Breloom. I can bring out my Heatran. And I think, uh... What do I bring out here? Who do I? I think, I think we bring out Breloom. Fighting is four, four times super effective. So I can pretty much just drop this guy here. And then whoever he throws out, we can get after. It's probably going to be that Garchomp, right? Sandvel Garchomp comes back out. Okay. So Sandvel Garchomp comes back out here. And in this case, we're going to have to go for the speed die here. I'm going to drop a Drain Punch. And we're going to go straight for the Drain. There's no reason not to. No reason not to. We can't protect anymore. If I had to protect, I would protect this four, but I'm like 1%. I'm like 1%. That's a, we got, we're got. we faster than a T-Tar. No problem. And Dream Punch should just be able to absolutely just dump on it. And Garchomp is set up posing that huge threat. Posing that huge threat. So like I said, if we lose a speed tie, that's pretty much the only way my Garchomp goes down. But in that case, we still have very strong Pokemon in the back, which I feel like we can clean up this battle. I don't see us losing the speed that. I just think we're, we're better. <laughs> I just think we're better. Maybe maybe he's not even fully boosting speed. Let's see. He protects Citar. Okay. Garchomp, win this. Win this for me, baby girl. Win this for me. No, no, no. Okay, he goes after Breloom. That, that works. That's fine. Outrage targets onto the Breloom, and we take out you. Okay, so Breloom's going to drop out here. Ruffskin's going to do some damage. But in this case, I like Rorsa. Rhythm's gonna go down to Buffets. That's tough, dude. That's tough. We did lose the speed time, man. Get out of my face. But luckily, Outrage went the other way. It went the other way. We take Buffets from Sandstorm. Sad face for Jeans. My lovely little pincher, pincher plant, whatever that thing is. Drop that. I love Breedloom. Breedloom's so cool. Such cool Pokemon. But we're gonna throw out our final mod, which is gonna be Heatran. And maybe he has... Ooh, that's rough. That's the definition of rough right there. Okay, uh... What's that play? I think I have to protect you. Just drop an EQ, right? Yeah, I'm with it. 
We have to be able to take out T-Tar here. If we can take out T-Tar, we can turn this into a 2v1. But ooh, let's see what he does. EQ's going to poke. It has to be both. Can we take out this Garchomp? We're plus two. Come on. We know that Rotom's levitated. But we're going to hope that this Rotom is targeting down my Heatran with the Hydro Pump. And if it is, we could be sitting great. Actually, we might not be able to sit, sit great. But it's going to be kind of close. Let's see, let's see what this dude plays. Hydro Pump it. Let's go. Jeans with the reeds, baby. The reeds all day. The reeds all day. Okay, so from here, Heatran can't really do much. So he's probably going to target down my Garchomp. But in this case, I still want to go into a Flash Cannon. Right? Yeah. Let's go into a Flash Cannon, and we'll go into a lovely little Dragon Claw. Plus two, dude. Garchomp. We had him set up Sword Dance early on with some reads, and we're making some big plays. So Dragon Claw pokes out here, and he just shuts it down, dude. Garchomp is so strong once you get Sword Dance set up. And there it is, guys. 3-0 for today's video, and we got the fully showcase of Steam and the brand new Coliseum mode. There it is, guys. The brand new Coliseum mode fully showcased for you guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like on it. It really does go a long way. And hopefully, you guys did like the team that we used today. I used it in a previous video. So if you guys want to get all that information and a team preview on that team, go check it out. It's on the channel. Just go into BDSP playlist and check it out from there. But if you guys want to check out the uh, Poke Pace, I'll have that down in the description below for you guys. So... There you guys go. There you guys go. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.